Obama, Holder, and Melson are three stooges involved in Operation Fast and Furious. This is an operation of the federal government, of the Justice Department, of the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives involving the in illegal transfer of firearms across the border, that is from the United States into Mexico. In this situation, what you have got is a law enforcement agency involved in the involved in the perpetration of heinous felonies against persons in Mexico and in the United States. These felonies have included murder of citizens and the murder of federal American law enforcement agencies. Now, we have a situation in which the president or the White House indicates that Obama didn't even know the operation was in existence. We have a situation in which the Attorney General, Herrick Holder, has indicated that he didn't know about this operation until late in the game. We have an indication in which uh, Ken Melson, the acting director of the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives, said he didn't know the operation was in, a, was, was in, act in action until late in the game. So here we have three officials of the federal government who said they didn't know anything about the operation, even though the operation, uh, which had to have been authorized somewhere at the highest level, involved the, the perpetration of crimes by a federal, an American federal law enforcement agency against people in the United States and Mexico, and, as I said, against the uh, federal law enforcement agents which resulted in their deaths. This, this is a story which is uh, gaining wide publicity in various media in the United States, and it's about time. Obama, of course, wants to eschew all responsibility for the action, even though he was very, very fast in trying to blame the CEOs of American banks and other uh, major corporations for the very various economic failures in our country at the time. He likes to wash his hands of everything that he can possibly wash his hands and try to try to blame as many other people as he possibly can. But the fact of the matter is, as a former president, as a former Democratic president of the United States, Harry S. Truman said while he was president, the buck stops here. That means the buck stops with Obama. Obama ultimately is responsi responsible for the operations of various federal agencies. Af after all, he is the CEO of the executive branch of the American government. It's his responsibility. He should stand up and take responsibility for this activity. The fact of the matter is he likes to blame other people for the difficulties in the United States. He'd like to blame the, the CEOs of the banks and the various corporations for the economic failures of the United States, even though they may not have had anything to do with it. However, let us use the same yardstick in measuring Obama. Let us apply to him the standard that he would apply to other people. Obama ultimately must accept responsibility for Operation Fast and Furious. The American people should not let the president get away with this. There is a lot to be learned from this, and that is that one of the one of the major things, one of the major things you can learn from this is you cannot trust government. You cannot trust government. The people must always be alert to what is going on in the federal government. The people must always exercise control over the federal government, hopefully through their elected representatives, that is, their United States senators and their United States representatives in Congress. Now, one way the people can 
exercise their authority over the federal government. And it is the people, ultimately, who are the authorities in this country of ours. The people can exercise this, this authority through the elections. There is an election in less than a year and a half from now, in 17 months. It's time for the people to realize they cannot trust the government under Obama. And this gang has just plain got to go. The, the people cannot trust the Obama government. The people cannot trust either the media supporters of the Obama government. These people are not trustworthy. They've done the American people dirt. And it's time for the American people to get ready to dump them and to pile the dirt on them where it belongs.